A bill cutting the state's grocery tax in half over the next year is now on Alabama Governor Kay Ivey's desk. State Capitol reporter Matty Beertemple explains how this bill could also affect your local grocery tax. While this bill cuts the state food tax, it also opens the door for local governments to do the same. Currently, cities and counties in Alabama cannot legally lower their own grocery taxes. This bill changes that. Those with the Association of County Commissions of Alabama say it's the first grocery tax cut bill that ties in local governments. This one did present, you know, a set of uh, challenges for us. The ACCA was initially concerned over the bill because it lacked a budget growth requirement for locals to cut taxes. The final bill, though, includes that letting localities cut their food tax by 25% if their budget grows 2% annually. And we're comfortable with that. Uh, what, what it will mean is that on the local level, the, the people who are elected to make those decisions will have the opportunity to, to align their, their budget needs uh, with, with uh, the removal of this tax and how it might impact the revenue they have to spend. And if localities do lower that tax under the bill, they can't then raise it higher than where it's at when the bill takes effect if it becomes law. Brasfield says that does present some concern since localities lack the same taxing power as the state. We would not be comfortable encouraging counties to make quick decisions. We'll work hard with all those counties uh, that have an interest and make sure that they do the right kind of due diligence before they before they make a decision. Alabama Arise Executive Director Robin Hyden says this bill could pave the way for a full state tax cut someday. We really feel like this is just the first step. We'd like to cut the full 4% and do it responsibly. Hyden estimates when the full 2% cut takes effect, potentially as soon as next September, a family could save about a week's worth of grocery money. For this year, it's like you're going to save $150 on your groceries. Next year, it will be $300, and hopefully we can keep going until you're saving a full two weeks worth of food. Now, if it becomes law, the first percent decrease will take effect this September. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beertemple, News 19.